Everett has a long history of bicycle facilities in the city. I think some of the bike routes and bike lanes go back to the 80s. And what we realized is in 2006 and 7, when we were doing an update to our transportation plan, we realized we had a lot of facilities, but they weren't necessarily well interconnected and they didn't really function as a system. As a result, our, in our comprehensive plan, we really took a multimodal approach where we looked at not just the roadway system but also transit, bikes and pedestrians as integrated modes in a single system. And when we focused on the bikes, what we realized is what we really wanted to have is a system where you could walk outside your house and within a reasonable distance get on a quiet street that then leads to a signed route which then leads to bike lanes and bike trails so that you have that same kind of interconnected grid and hierarchical system much like uh, vehicles have enjoyed for a long time. The comprehensive plan work that we did in 2006 and 7 laid out the framework and came up with some general uh, grid system of where we thought we needed facilities. What we really wanted to accomplish with the bike master plan was to add detail to that. So for each route we wanted to have cost data, uh, exact routes and route descriptions, ride those routes, make sure that they're in the right place. Uh, we also wanted to have design standards. And one of the big goals for the project was to have an implementable plan that really takes us, gets us ready to get these things implemented and complete. Uh, one of the ways that we were able to try to do that is to include in the plan projects that we can complete as a part of our routine maintenance and operations and with operational staff doing signs and markings in addition to the capital projects that people are familiar with. Our process involved extensive stakeholder involvement. The project really benefited greatly from lots of involvement by community stakeholders that are bike riders, bike commuters, bike activists who spent a lot of time out in the field riding the routes making sure they were on track and really adding that level of detail that we couldn't have done otherwise. Uh, so we were out looking at the routes that were proposed in the comp plan making adjustments to those taking input from the stakeholders. We also had a couple of open houses where uh, people that were interested could provide input and guidance to us uh, to make sure that we made the right choices in terms of route selection and, and also prioritization is what the key priorities were. With regard to implementation, we categorized and prioritized the projects and we ended up with three or four tiers of projects. The first tier is a way that we can do projects with our in-house forces combined with routine maintenance and work with our operational crews and that usually takes the form of restriping some signs and markings. It's relatively low cost and it's something that we can achieve several projects each year and make continued progress on. The second and third tiers are really projects that are capital projects that involve capital funding, either city funding or more likely a combination of city and grant funds. And the, those two tiers are broken just into prioritization and, and time frames. And then the final grouping we called corridor replacement projects. And those are projects that would be unlikely to be uh, financed in and of themselves as a bike facility, but would be included in larger capital projects like the replacement of the South Broadway corridor, for instance. We've completed uh, several projects just within the last several months that contribute toward implementing the plan. In the downtown area, the uh, Hoyt Streetscape project, which uh, adds bike lanes to Hoyt and parts of California Avenue, and those are uh, consistent with our downtown plan and our downtown streetscape plan where Hoyt and California have been identified as our primary bike routes through the downtown. Uh, we've also are in the process of completing improvements at West Marine View Drive which is a bi-directional path along the waterfront and just completed some improvements to 7th Avenue Southeast which include bike lanes on both sides. 
So we'll continue to make progress on all those different tiers as, as we can. Uh, the tiers two and three were subject to the availability of grant funding and we always uh, aggressively pursue that. And then the tier one projects that we will continue to go after with our in-house forces and with our maintenance efforts. We've got the plan complete, we're happy about that, but that's not the end of our efforts. We'll continue to implement the plan. We'll be working on the in-house elements that we can do with our crews. We'll be going after the capital projects just like we would all our transportation projects. And we'll have some other things that come out of the plan. We'll have a map for bicycle users and that'll be something that will be a byproduct of the plan. Uh, and really what I'd like to do is just thank all the people that made it possible. Uh, we had tons of help from our stakeholders in the bicycling community and it's been greatly appreciated. Thank you.